Imagine standing in a snowy mountain range watching as the snowpack above your head suddenly splits in two right before your eyes. It tumbles down the frozen slope, cascading towards the ground far below. Anything in its path is crushed by the sheer force of snow and debris. This is an avalanche, one of nature's most destructive forces. But what if I told you that there's another kind of avalanche, just as terrifying as the one on land? The most bizarre part? It happens underwater. Underwater avalanches are catastrophic, often much more dangerous than their land-based counterparts. These deep-sea disasters are capable of causing massive damage to the planet, with impacts that could be felt globally. And the most alarming part? They happen all the time beneath the surface of our oceans, silent, invisible, and virtually impossible to predict. These underwater avalanches can grow to be 100 times larger than land avalanches, and they have the power to disrupt the entire world's communications. They could even bring the internet to a halt, but more on that later. First, let's go back 60,000 years and witness one of the largest and most destructive underwater avalanches ever recorded. It all started as a small landslide in the Agadir Canyon off the northwest coast of Africa. Initially, it involved just 0.35 cubic miles of material. But soon, this mass grew to over 100 times its original size as it sped across the ocean floor. Along the way, it scooped up rocks, gravel, mud, and sand, carving a devastating path through one of the world's largest submarine canyons. The avalanche wiped out all plant and animal life in its way and created a massive trench along the canyon's walls. The flow was so powerful that it launched huge boulders up canyon walls, 430 feet high. When scientists first discovered evidence of this catastrophic event, they had no idea just how massive and destructive underwater avalanches could be. And the worst part? These disasters don't only occur far from shore, they can start right at the mouths of rivers. Take January 14, 2020, for instance. A rapid flow of water carrying sediment rushed from the Congo River estuary out into the deep sea. It was triggered by heavy flooding in late December 2019 and unusually large spring tides. This avalanche, made up of sand and mud, was equivalent to one-third of all the sediment produced by rivers worldwide in a single year. The current picked up speed quickly, accelerating from 17 feet per second to 26 feet per second over a mere 680 miles. It became the longest sediment avalanche ever recorded. Two days later, the flow reached the deep ocean and cut through two critical seabed telecommunication cables, cutting internet speeds across West, Central, and Southern Africa. Before this, scientists believed measuring the power of deep sea avalanches was impossible. But thanks to new research, they were able to directly monitor the Congo Canyon avalanche. This groundbreaking data helped researchers understand how river floods can trigger massive avalanches in the ocean. And more importantly, they learned how often these avalanches occur. Seafloor canyons near river mouths experience several smaller avalanches per year, while other canyons like Agadir might only see one massive event every 10,000 years. So, what triggers these terrifying underwater avalanches? Earthquakes, typhoons, volcanic eruptions, and even river floods can set them off. With climate change causing more extreme weather and events, the frequency and intensity of these triggers are increasing. However, just because one of these events occurs doesn't necessarily mean an avalanche will follow. The scale of the disaster depends on many factors. For example, in 1755, a massive earthquake hit Portugal, leveling much of Lisbon, but it only triggered a small underwater avalanche. In contrast, in 1929, a much larger earthquake off the coast of Newfoundland triggered the largest underwater avalanche ever recorded. This one traveled at 42 miles per hour, snapping 11 seabed cables and generating a tsunami that claimed 28 lives along the coastline. One of the most troubling aspects of these underwater avalanches is that they're completely invisible. Since they happen deep below the ocean's surface, they're incredibly hard to study. But these flows are crucial to understand because they transport nutrients, sediments, and even pollutants across the ocean floor. A research team from Liverpool has spent the last 40 years studying these events. They've collected more than 300 ocean floor samples along with seismic and ocean mapping data to reconstruct the largest submarine avalanche ever mapped. What they found was incredible. Even small underwater landslides can quickly evolve into massive destructive events. In fact, they tracked an avalanche that grew to be more than 650 feet tall, tall enough to be compared to a skyscraper. Imagine that massive flow speeding across the ocean floor, cutting a trench 100 feet deep and 9 miles wide. 
Then it spread over an area larger than the UK, burying everything beneath several feet of sand and mud. This research is monumental because it shows how even the smallest underwater landslide can develop into a catastrophic event. And now, think about the global impact. Over 550 active seabed internet cables stretch across the ocean floor, totaling 870,000 miles. If an underwater avalanche snaps these cables, the effects can be disastrous. In 2006, an earthquake off Taiwan triggered an avalanche that severed several seabed cables, causing a 90% loss of internet traffic to the USA. Taiwan itself saw between 74% and 100% loss of internet connectivity to neighboring islands. This is why studying underwater avalanches is so crucial. Researchers from Taiwan University have found a new way to study these events in 3D, giving us a better understanding of how they behave. By creating mini basins and simulating different flow speeds, they've been able to mimic real-life ocean conditions and learn more about how turbidity currents interact with ocean features. While these findings are groundbreaking, there's still much to learn. As climate change and human activities increase, the frequency of underwater avalanches may rise and their consequences could become even more severe. So the next time you hear about an avalanche, remember, there's a silent, invisible one happening beneath the ocean that could shake the very foundations of global communication. The oceans are full of mysteries, and we've only just begun to understand the true power of these deep-sea disasters.